in the various types of nozzles the nozzles can be differentiated so these are the types of nozzles there are various types like based upon its purpose and use so uh, for the purposes for which the nozzles are being used accordingly they will be classified as the process nozzle then the inspection or maintenance nozzle or we can say the third and the final type under this uh, the purpose uh, and the use is the instrument nozzle so based upon its purpose and use the nozzles are classified as the process nozzles inspection nozzles maintenance nozzles and instrument nozzles so we are going to see what is there uh, which is uh, under process nozzle inspection nozzle and instrument nozzles why these are different from one another is there is uh, any difference as far as design is concerned so let's have a look at so the types of the nozzles as we are uh, we have seen that it is as per the classification based upon its purpose and its use the first was the process nozzle when we are saying the process nozzle means what the nozzles which are there to carry the fluid from any other system bringing inside that vessel or carrying the fluid from that vessel to some another equipment or some another storage tank so these nozzles are for the transportation of the fluid either into the vessel or from vessel to some other vessels or the components so what are the different nozzles so these are few of the names and the process names of those nozzles like the flow inlet flow outlet cleaning inlet cleaning outlet overflow nozzles etc so there are various types of such nozzles which will be used in the process and their purpose is to transport of the fluid from one location to another or bringing the fluid from another location to allow that to enter inside the vessel so these are the process nozzles which are getting connected to the process piping and hence these are different from the rest of the nozzles as we are saying that these nozzles are connected to the process piping so whatever loads which are coming because of that process piping those are also coming on this process nozzle so this process nozzles are very critical as far as the pressure vessel design or the nozzle design is concerned so let's say this is one of the process nozzle from which the fluid is coming and you can observe from the bottom that it is carrying the fluid away from uh, this vessel to some another equipment so like this uh, this uh, process uh, uh, this process nozzles are for the purpose of allowing the fluid into the vessel and at the same time allowing the fluid out of the vessel also so that is what what we have discussed so the primary function of this is to carry or transport the fluid from or to the vessel then based upon again uh, its purpose the other type is inspection and maintenance nozzle every equipment based upon its operation may or may not require the maintenance nozzle so sometimes if there is a critical maintenance required then the manhole of a size let's say 600 mm 500 mm 650 mm uh, from which the man can go inside and do the cleaning or whatever maintenance purpose or if there are some internals which are to be replaced or to be put in for that reason also this manway or inspection uh, openings are required or the nozzles are required so based upon this a manhole hand hole side glass light glass these are the typical nozzles which are used in any pressure vessel Uh, for access these are also called as the access openings from where we are having that access of that vessel we can go inside or have uh, uh, something put inside that vessel so let's say in this vessel this is nothing but the manhole from where the person can go in and do uh, whatever activities are required to be done then this is also another manhole and in this horizontal vessel also you can see from the top there is a hand hole basically it is not having the size of 600 mm i or mm it is lesser than that so from here some uh, inspection or we can say uh, there are some internals to be placed so such an activity can be done so these are basically uh, nozzles which are not getting connected to any of the piping you can see these all are the blind nozzles these are only required when there is an access required and when we are going to use these Uh, openings uh, at that time the vessel will not be under pressure so when the uh, vessel is not under pressure the plant is under operation then only these manholes or the access openings will be open so that's the reason uh, these are not having the loads which uh, otherwise the process nozzle in actual operations will have so these are just to carry the weight of that blind uh, throughout their life and whenever uh, there is an maintenance activity or the shutdown activity at that point of time only the person can go in so that's why these are less critical nozzles as compared to the process nozzles so 
so that's why these nozzles are also given the different treatment than the process nozzles once we are going to see the thickness calculation uh, for the nozzle neck so these are nothing but the manhole handhole location nozzles then the instrument nozzle on every equipment uh, there are certain instruments which are to be placed what's the reason of uh, to have these instrument let's say thermoval uh, to get information about the temperature of inside fluid we want to have the some temperature gauges temperature transmitters then uh, to identify the level inside that would be uh, must be having some level gauges level transmitters uh, then to get uh, information about the pressure uh, because most of the uh, processes are linked to pressure so whether that pressure is enough uh, it is on the higher side lower side accordingly the monitoring and uh, the uh, and the control of the overall system will be done for that reason uh, so here we can see these are the pressure gauges or pressure transmitters so these uh, nozzles which are there to have these uh, or access this uh, openings for this only instrument so these are called as the instrument nozzles which are getting connected with the instrument uh, let's say the level gauge can have a flange connection or can have a threaded connection so the nozzle which is getting connected with this uh, level gauge and uh, sub not supposed to take the total load of the piping which is coming otherwise in case of your process nozzle or even in case of access opening the person can be standing on that but in uh, in such a cases these instrument nozzles are not having that much load also so these nozzles are not designed for any external load if there is uh, some higher weights in that case only those weights will be considered as an external loading otherwise these are also a kind of simpler nozzles and they should have the fittings which are uh, which are the mating uh, mating fitting for the uh, consequent instrument so let's say if there is a threaded temperature element or we can say uh, the thermoval to be used then we must be giving the nozzle with the threaded connection if there is a flange connection then we also have to provide the flange connection so these uh, connections are being governed by the type of instrument is getting attached with this nozzle so these are based upon uh, the connections or we can say based upon its purpose the nozzles are classified as instrument nozzles so first we have seen that uh, based upon its uh, purpose and its use uh, first very critical which is the process nozzle uh, which will be carrying the fluid at temperature at pressure also the loads which are coming uh, because of this uh, thermal expansion are also to be carried uh, to the nozzle and from the nozzle to nozzle to shell junction and also to the flanges or the end connections which are getting connected with the piping and then there are access openings or access nozzle from where the um, person can have the access inside the vessel and then these are the instrument nozzles uh, which are getting connected with the instrument 